This is Blake's Nature Live. We're about to look at some dwarf Namwa bananas. The largest ones you've probably ever seen. Wow. And look, there's John. What's up, John? Look at that. And look at that pseudo stem. You probably won't see one this big. How tall are these, John? This tallest one. Uh, the fruit's coming out around 10 feet. Wow. And looks like the... Looks like she picked some more of these. We'll let these ripen. We got to try some the other day. Looks like the top might be up around 15. And they're not, they're not, they shouldn't be getting this tall. No, they're just... It's all the organic. And look, it's still pushing out little pups. Charcoal. Charcoal, charcoal what else? Mulch, compost, fertilizer, water. And she has a sprinkler. Yeah, well, yeah, a little drip irrigation. Kind of. Does the job. Or microjet, microjet. So, if you can give your bananas everything they need for their life, they're going to keep on growing and make everything, make all the fruit. Water, Constantly. fertilizer, sun. And you said that this one has already made in two years like eight different bunches of bananas. Yeah, easily. Wow. How cold would how cold hardy would you say this one is? Well, it's a it's it's like the most the Namwa is the most cold tolerant of the dessert type mm -hmm. bananas that I've tried. Even more than Mysore and yes, Mysore is more sensitive. Yes. I know you always admire this because look, I just can't believe how thick the false stems are, just how wide they are. They're not this wide in the orchards down south. They're not. They're probably, no. what, about smaller than this almost? Or about this size? Yeah, that's like, about the biggest I've ever seen. And like, look how big that, this one is. That like, been the beast of the month. Like, I don't think you can... Here, hold the camera and me stand by it. I don't think you can really realize... How large is this? Look at that. It, it's it's the Just, biggest I've ever can seen. Can you imagine chopping this up as chop and drop when it, when it gets done with the, the banana bunch? Yeah. Wow. That'd be a workout just cutting through it. Yeah. The Nam the Namwas are my second favorite type of banana after the Cordoba. Just because I consider how easy and reliable it is, Cordoba will always push out and it's just more cold tolerant and the fruit's decent mm -hmm. but if you don't like a cooking type maybe this is the best kind hmm. wow does she plan on trying to put some more out through here like like divide it up oh look at you you got the smallest banana in the world i was going to try it I don't want that rotten tip. No, it's not. It's not. Once the fruit gets fat like this, you know, before it even gets this fat, I would harvest the whole, whole fruit. thing because they split. The skin splits mm -hmm. if you let them get ripe on. You know, my favorite banana to eat is the Manzano. Oh, that's really good. Is that cold hardy or no? No, it's super sensitive. I have never been able to get it to grow here, even in a greenhouse. Oh, man. Um, it's really disease sensitive, but it, boy, does it taste good. And it's really prone to splitting. Mm. But you don't really get that really rich apple strawberry flavor unless it gets ripe on the... And or, splits. Like, you got to harvest it so ripe that it does split. And if you harvest it earlier where it won't split, like you see in a grocery store, they mm -hmm. don't have much of a special flavor. Mm -hmm. So it's, I like it, but it, it's got its issues. What it is. All right. Thank you, John. We we enjoy these videos.